Hey guys, this is Kristen from KristenCoaching.com and thank you so much for watching my video today. Uh, we're going to be discussing how to tell your significant other that your relationship is over. A lot of times, you know, making the decision to end the relationship can be a lot easier than actually having the conversation uh, with your other half who you're in the relationship with now and letting him or her know that you have decided to end it. Um, sometimes, obviously, making that decision is harder than saying things, but oftentimes you'd be surprised that, um, you know, knowing when and where and how to have this really, really hard conversation a conversation that you don't normally have that you probably maybe even never had in your lifetime um, you know unfortunately there's no breakup manual um, that they give you at the start of relationships so you're kind of left to fend for yourself and figure out oh crap you know how do I do this um, so I have developed some strategies and some tips if you really have decided that you are emotionally done in your relationship that you don't want to do this anymore there is a way out um, in a healthy way there's a way to communicate that the relationship is over um, and so we're going to be talking about what those healthy ways are because um, this is really important and I think something that isn't really talked about often um, so here are some tips on how to tell your significant other that it's over uh, tip number one you need to plan a good time to talk with each other you don't want to pick a time that your significant other doesn't have time to talk to you about it. You don't want to pick a time that your significant other is, you know, super um, overwhelmed and frustrated or emotional. Um, it needs to be ideally a time that your significant other um, has time on his or her hands, is in a fairly calm mood, um, and you're able to speak with your um, other half without getting interrupted. Okay, that's really important. Um, there's never going to be a perfect time, and I think um, you know people wait for that perfect moment for it to happen, um, but that's not going to happen. And that's why I say you have to plan a good time to talk. Don't just wait for the good time. Sometimes saying like, "Hey, I need to tell you, talk to you about something pretty important." Um, you know, can we talk tonight um, after dinner, or can we talk tonight? before bed or something like that but maybe don't plan right before bed where you guys are exhausted but maybe um, or talk in the morning or whatever it is but plan a good time is really really important that way your significant other um, you know carves out time for you and you're able to really sit down privately have that one-on-one -on -one, okay so it's really important to do that uh, tip number two when you're going to be ending the relationship you just need to be honest about it. It's almost like ripping off a Band-Aid, but not in a harsh way, but just in a really honest, genuine way. And letting your significant other know that, hey, this just is not working out for me. I'm not feeling fulfilled anymore. I'm not feeling in love anymore. You know, whatever your reasons are, I think it's important that your significant other has the right to know what has happened, why it's happened, why you're doing what you're doing, um, and just being very clear about it, you know, being obviously honest and and how you feel and actually confident in how you feel and confident in your decision you know if you're kind of saying it in a in an insecure way or a wishy-washy way you know that can sometimes actually make your significant other feel that oh maybe there's a chance that you're going to change your mind so it's really important to be strong in your convictions and be honest about what you're saying so be real be honest be forthcoming about it tip number three you want to prepare for your significant other's reaction to what you're saying. Just emotionally prepare for that. Obviously, most likely your significant other isn't going to be like, oh great, I've been waiting for you to say something because I've been wanting to break up with you too. Sometimes that can happen and great and it's a mutual thing, awesome. But oftentimes it's not going to go like that. Your partner's going to be hurt, partner's going to be sad, your partner's going to be confused, angry, and go through all those grief emotions. So just be prepared emotionally for how your significant other is going to react and let them react how they react. You cannot change their feelings. You cannot change their reaction. You cannot convince them that this is a good thing necessarily if they don't feel like it's a good thing. You just have to be open to listening to their feelings and their reactions and that's okay because you had the moment to be honest about your feelings and why you're ending the relationship so it's important to give them that space as well without interrupting and just letting them speak and listening clearly and with respect I think that's really important even if they're being disrespectful to you and their reaction to it um, it's important to keep that level of respect there for them and not 
rise to the level that they're at if they're super angry or they're being disrespectful. Don't go there with them. You stay mellow, you stay calm, and you stay clear and concise. That's really important. Uh, tip number four, if you're going to be ending it, um, you need to save any legal jargon uh, for a later conversation. So for example, let's say you're married, um, let's say you have children, there's obviously a lot of um, logistics that you need to work out. I wouldn't talk about that in the necessarily in the first conversation that you're having to tell them that it's over. You can discuss legal stuff later, how you're gonna sort this out later. Um, don't bring it in. You know, right now it's really just about you and your significant other. You're wanting to end it. It's not going well. Um, you know, you've been unhappy for a long time and that's what it's about. You're gonna keep it short, you're gonna keep it sweet. You're gonna say, we're gonna be talking about, you know, any legal stuff later. Um, that that's not important right now if your significant other really wants to address it um because that can just really complicate the the whole point of saying that it's done because you're adding all these other factors all these other flags that are coming in and it can just make it so much more complicated than it needs to be so i really think putting off the legal um topic and conversation of the the divorce lawyers or how you're gonna you know do the custody of the kids, you know, do that at a later date. Just say, you know what, that's really not important right now. We are, are going to work all of that out later. You know, right now I just really wanna have this conversation with you and have you know that this is what I've been thinking and you know, I'm done with this relationship. Uh, tip number five, and last but not least, um, and if you're gonna tell your significant other that it's over, you have to stick to your decision. Don't go back and forth. Don't let your significant other convince you to stay in the relationship. Uh, don't let your significant other to convince you to just, oh, maybe we can just take a break or maybe we can just separate for a little bit. You have to stick to your decision. If you want this to be over, if you've thought about this for a long time, you've been unhappy, you know there's no other thing that you can do besides end the relationship, um, then you have to stick to your decision, okay? Going back and forth can really be emotionally damaging for for your other half, emotionally damaging for you, complicate things even more, um, create even more heartache down the road for you and your significant other. So stick to your decision and be strong. You know, you wouldn't be making this decision if you hadn't thought about this clearly. You feel how you feel, that's valid, that's important. And sometimes ending the relationship really is the best thing for couples after they have tried to do every single thing that they can to make it work. I do believe that all couples aren't meant to be together for whatever reason you know i think that not everybody is meant to be with everybody um you know i do think that people can learn tools and relationship skills to make things a lot healthier and gel a lot more but not both people in the relationship aren't always going to want to learn that and utilize skills to the best of their ability and they're not going to want to improve themselves and do all the things that they need to do to be good partners to you um, or vice versa right so it's just it's not always meant to be it's not always meant to jive and it's not going to and that's okay you know that doesn't mean that you are a bad person it doesn't mean that you don't deserve love it doesn't mean any of the things that that are our biggest fears that we think about ourselves it just means that you and your significant other are no longer working for whatever reason and you're not happy and you're not fulfilled and you've tried and the best way for you to be happy is to separate for good and that's okay be gentle with yourself recognize that this happens um, and that you need to stick to your decision. I think that's really, really important. If you have any questions or comments, write them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can on that, like I always do. Again, this is Kristen from kristencoaching.com, and thank you so much for watching my video today, and I'll see you guys next time.